All right, that is a great start. It's one of the best drives I've hit in a long time. Straight in the middle of the fairway. Welcome back to every shot of an 11 handicappers round. Today we are at Pan's Hangar. We are trying to shoot a personal best. Now you're probably thinking, how are you going to shoot a personal best? That's not just something you just aim to do. Well, I'm at the one course where I think it's possible. We're at Pan's Hangar today. And only one month ago, I played in some pretty horrific conditions and managed to shoot six over a 78 on the scorecard. And there's just this feeling in the air right now. I just have a vibe that I'm going to go low. So let's get down this fairway and get this ball in the hole as quick as possible. We got 121 yards in here. The pin is at the back. It is winter rules. So it is pick and place out on the fairways. That is pretty good. Let's turn in a little bit more. I think we're on green. I think we're on the green. We've got 24 foot here for a birdie on the first. What a start it could be. Uh, it's gonna fall low, but it's gonna be a tap in par. No bother guys, we'll start off really well there. Um, I mean, par on the first, you can't complain with that. And I've got a lot of making up to do after last week's shambles of a score. The second hole here at Pan's Hangar is a 310 yard par four and it is SI 13. might be all right it's probably going to be cut out by the trees all right so this is kind of what i was worried about we've now got this shot over the trees um pin is just behind them we're off to the right there's a very thin opening on the left you don't very often actually have a clear shot into the green here uh, we've got about 70 to the pin so just going to aim for the middle and get this up and over really i don't think i could have asked for any better that might be really close Safely in the centre of the green. Can't complain about that. Little worrying putt here. We've got 36 footer down the hill. Go on, ball. Keep going. Now stop. Now stop. All right. Tricky little five footer. Now, if you're going to shoot your PB, you don't want any little missteps on putts like this. So let's just make sure this one rolls home, eh? No dramas. We're still level through two holes. It's our first par five of the day. It's 488 yards and it is SI8, big dog leg to the right. Right, on this hole, it does dog leg to the right. So you can hit driver and take it just slightly over those trees. So that's gonna be the aim on this one. That is gonna be absolutely fine. Not the best connection, but it'll work. Crikey. <laughs> Ball literally just came cannoning through the trees. All right, to this pin, I have about 178 yards. It's downwind totally, so uh, we just want to get on in two, so I'm going to just take a seven iron. No, that's coming out so right. That's not ideal. It's not in a bunker though, so up and down for a birdie maybe? So what I haven't told you is the last time I played this course, I actually went one under through the front nine, which is the first time I've ever gone under par through nine holes. In fact, my best before that was two over. So that is a big improvement. Two birdies, one of which came on this par five and the next par five, and then a bogey as well. And then it all just kind of fell apart on the back nine. 30 yards, we've got a bit of a dead lie. We're kind of like on top of a stone in a rut. And so I'm gonna chop this one out. I've been practicing this little chop technique a little bit recently. That's the chop. It's actually checked up so much and not run out at all. We've probably got 20 foot for birdie. Oh, hello, it's got not a chance. I mean, I pulled it horrifically, but we got away with it because that is another tap in par. There we go. Happy days, even three, three. A little bit of a missed opportunity on that shortish par five, but these things can't be helped. Let's get on to the next. Now we're on to the fourth. It's a par three. It's the 10th hardest on the course and it is 186 yards long. Right, so we have got about 185 to the back of the green where the pin is. I'm aiming for the center. Wind is off the left slightly. So I've got a five iron in hand. Oh, it's come out right. Right! Uh, someone was looking for the ball on my hole. I uh, didn't actually see him down there. Whilst we're looking for this ball, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that is supporting this channel. Last week's video 
popped guys i didn't know that you enjoyed watching me suffer so much if you want to go check me out at the belfry the Ryder cup course the brabazon then feel free to go back on the channel and have a look that is because you my day ones we only just started this golf channel you've got to remember are going mental you're leaving comments which is the big thing i'm interacting with every single one of you i'm commenting back we're having a discussion it's good to get to know you where your golf game is what your plans are for the year let me know down in the comments smash the like subscribe like there's a ridiculous number of you that are not subscribed so do me a favor and hit that subscribe button will you okay now guys it's not looking good under that tree there is my golf ball so i think we've actually got a swing you know it's not particularly good it's going to be another kind of like chop it out kind of job that is probably as good as i can hope i'm not going to lie that is pretty good from there now ideally we're going to leave ourselves with a tap in here um, although i have got visions of grandeur in my head of me actually making this i don't know why <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go. Stop now. Yeah, I think that's good. I would love to give myself that one, but that would be cheating. So let's just roll that one home. We walk out with a bogey. It's not too bad. And by that, I mean, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. We love a par five. This is SI 15 and it's 495 yards. Wind is interface a little bit closes up just where my drive will land on the right hand side so we need to keep this up the left hand side of the fairway that will play that's straight over the top of the tree just need to not get a bad kick it's kicked left so i'm hoping that we have a shot in from there we are kind of under those trees on the right though we have got about 210 into this pin and it is windy uh, so it's playing more like 230 so got a little bit of branchage in front of us thinking because i'm on a down lie the ball's going to squirt out right anyway so i'm going to aim it out to the left of the pin and bring it hopefully it'll bring back round. i haven't caught it very well i won't lie but it is now scampering up there i don't think it's gonna it surely can't have the legs to get all the way there maybe it has my god how the hell's that happened <laughs> It's not quite on the green, but it's not in the bunker and it's not a bad shot in. So up and down for a birdie, come on. Most important thing is just to make sure it is on the green so we are potting, because that's how we're going to keep our scores low today. That could work out really good. Pin eye, just a little bit left. All right, we've got about eight foot here for birdie. I would love for this one to go home. Oh, get in. Little explosion. Oh, hot, nice. That is the corniest thing. Apologies, I won't do that again. I promise I won't do that again. The fourth hardest hole on the course is a par four and it's also 385 yards long. Now, I wouldn't usually hit driver here, but I'm going to because it's just working so damn well at the moment. So just uh, don't question it. Just keep on doing it, you know. It snapped a little bit left. No, no, it's actually perfect. We are right in the middle of the fairway. I thought it was going to keep on turning left, but it hasn't. All right, we've got 120 into this pin, but we've got a bit of wind with us over the right shoulder. So it's at the back. I really don't want to hit pitching wedge because I think it'll just go miles long. So that means we're going to be hitting a full gap wedge here. It's a little left. It's not bad though. Yeah, we're putting. That's what I wanted. Now, one thing I'm really struggling to come to terms with as a golfer is that I am not good. Even at 11 handicap, I am not good. I have no right to be trying to take on pins from anything more than about 70 yards out, I would think. That's the only time I should really be trying to get them close. At this stage, at the moment, we are just literally looking for GIRs. Get it on the green anywhere. It does not matter. Play tactically, aim for the fat parts of the green, get it on, get it rolling. It's just the best way. And if you get a birdie here or there, well, you know what, that's just a bonus. And to be honest, by being on the green more often, I'm gonna get more birdies anyway. So just literally aim for the center of the green. Okay, we've got 27 foot here for a birdie. It's gonna come off the left, my left, your right, quite a bit here, because uh, it really does turn quite steep just where the ball's gonna be slowing down. Might've hit that bit hard. Stop now. Oh no, it's almost perfect. Gotta remember when it's banking away it's actually got to roll further so yeah good job I did in my head overhit it just a slightly there we go another par on the card and we are still level unbelievably through six holes 
And you know me, guys, I'm back nine bandit when it comes to these videos. Hole seven, a relatively short par four. It's SI seven and it's 357 yards long. Oh, I got too happy. Oh no, probably rolled out about 100 yards. Uh oh. Luckily, this is a short par four, so we still do have a shot. We're 180 away, we've got downwind. I'm gonna take a six. There's a bunker right and left of this green, so kind of looking to thread it through the two of them. That was such an armsy chop swing, but I've, you know what, I've hit it really hard and really far, so it's over the bunker on the right. Now I could use some help guys. Let me know down in the comments section what video you think I should shoot next. Is there a course that you've played that was amazing and you think I should feature it on the channel? Maybe there's something really interesting about the course you play, something that's out of the ordinary. Or maybe you're just a member at a really, really prestigious club and you could get me on and we could play around together, maybe have a beer at the end of the round. Well then let me know down in the comments. See if we can get up and down. Just gonna to turn to the right, so we're aim it a little bit left. Slow down, slow down, sit. I did catch it a little bit off the bottom of the club, so we've got a dodgy one here for par. Come on, Tom. What have we got here? We've got one, two, it's like 10 foot downhill. There's a chance. Oh, that is brutal. That is brutal. All right, okay. So we go one over through seven. Plenty more golf to play and we're still on target. If we get through the front nine at like two over, we're on target, we shoot the same on the back to get a new PB. Hole eight is the second easiest on the course. It's a par four and it's a severe dog leg to the left. It's 326 yards long. It's, this is an interesting hole. You've seen it on the drone flyover. It's kind of like a corkscrew down to the left. You don't actually need to hit a lot of club to give yourself an approach. So I'm just taking seven. Yeah, that's a good strike, that is. Mate, that wind has just absolutely sent it, but it's on the flat and that's all I really wanted. About 90 yards to the middle of the green. It's severely downhill. It's playing, it's about, I think probably about 75, 80. Um, pins at the back, don't want to mess around with that. If you go too far, you're going off the back. So I'm aiming for the middle of the green. Boring, I know. Um, I'm just trying to get it on. Has that got to go? Oh my God, it has got to go. All right, I think it might just be on the front edge. That was pretty poor. All right, log old putt this one. One, two, three. Really should have done a lot better with that. We've now got 90 foot to the hole. Uh, gonna have to try and work out how hard to hit this because we've got to go through quite a bit of fringe. I do think putting it is the right way though. Wow, well, he's bumping and bobbling. I think that was the right decision to putt that. It's not that far away in terms of length. It's just that I gave it way too much respect and it didn't turn at all. Now, I don't think this is gonna turn very much, guys. I've, I've, it looks like it should turn a lot. Oh, he's only gone and drained it. Come on. Oh yeah, I do need to apologize for the potty mouth last week. The greens rattled me, I won't lie. I need to cut that out in real life rather than in the edit because there's just no need for it. Completing off the front nine, we have a par three here. It's a really strange one straight up a hill, 161 yards long, and it's SI 12. I've got to say, this is one of the strangest holes I've played. Uh, straight up hill, par three, can't see the bottom of the pin at all. Uh, we're about 140 yards away, playing more like 163. I'm going to take eight iron here. Not the greatest contact. It might work out, if it kicks right, it could be good. 25 foot, downhill for birdie. And if we make this, we go level through nine, which is just obscene. But I can't see any way that this ever goes in. It has three putt written all over it, but. Oh, hello, it's fast, it's got a drop. No, I know how Wyndham Clark feels at the end of the players. The funny thing is it really actually did need to catch the cup or otherwise it was just literally going to go a mile past. So swings in roundabouts, isn't it? There we go. And that is a par. So we have finished the front nine in my second best ever 
nine hole stretch at one over. Right, if we can smash out the back here, it's going to be unreal. We've rounded the turn and we're onto the hardest hole on the course. It's a 463 yard long par four, not easy. Oh, straight right, right. Oh, I've seen it down. You might be playing this one as a par five, unless you get a perfect tee shot you are anyway. Don't mind me just heading onto a completely different hole to get my ball. Thankfully, it's not on the next hole's green, and we are going to have to play a recovery shot over some pretty large trees. Now, there is actually a chance that I could go for the, the trees that I need to go over a lot lower. We're about 200 yards away, and I could get there with a hybrid. However, I think in the vein of me being a reformed golfer, playing the sensible shots, I am gonna take a nine iron, lay up, go back over the trees, and then leave myself with a comfortable wedge in. There we go, safely over. Yep, should just be in the center of the fairway. Very nice. Now, what I haven't said yet, guys, is that I'm actually not really supposed to be playing golf today. So the last round of golf I actually played was the Belfry two weeks ago. Uh, the reason for that is because I managed to mess up the carpals in my left wrist, kind of like the bones that go into the back of your hand. So when I got a scan, I've actually had a steroid injection and I'm supposed to not hit a golf ball for two weeks. We're currently 10 days after that injection, so almost there, but we're definitely not supposed to be hitting full shots. So sending it for the content, I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> Give that a clean, my goodness, I'm getting absolutely cake today. Some places have like a different kind of mud. I know that sounds stupid to say, but this place has got a different kind. It's the kind of the cloddy mud that sticks to your ball if it's even a little bit damp. We've got 80 yards in, but we're downwind. So got to hit this like it's about a 70 shot. That might be too much. Sit. Oh, it pitched pin eye and then it's bounced off. See, that's what I wasn't supposed to do. Supposed to play it a little shorter into the center of the green. Then we make a two putt and we get out with a bogey. Now we're risking having to get up and down from the fringe and bringing double bogey into play. Oh, oh, stop, oh my God. I thought it was perfect. And then it kind of got fringe boosted. It just went flat dead and went flying. Oh my God, that's so bad. Fair enough. It's our first double of the day. We've scored more on this hole than we did on the entire front nine. So we've got some work to do. Here is SI 16, it's a par three and it's 175 yards long. We've got 157 yards to this pin, but it's playing like 15 to 20 yards more because of the wind we're hitting into. It's all right, it's a little right at target. Should find the dance floor though, which it has indeed, very nice. We've got about 40 foot here for the birdie. It's gonna come slightly off the right. Oh, there's a chance it'll go in. Oh no, there's not because I've left it short. Oh, shorter than I thought from back there as well. One, well, maybe five foot. The wrist is holding up, but are my nerves going to be still alive by the end of the round? Keep watching to find out. There we go. Just take the break out of it. I think that's something I don't do very often. Just roll it a bit harder and make sure it hits the back of the cup. Second hardest hole on the course is a 437 yard Par four, it dog legs to the left. Another one of these funny kind of corkscrew holes. You just got to turn around to the left. It's got to kind of lay up. It's a lot longer than the last one though. So we're taking four iron here. Ooh, don't turn too much left or otherwise I'm going to get cut out. No, that's fine. Kicked right. Very lucky balance, I won't lie. In the pursuit of playing safe golf, this is not what I wanted. I've got 160 yards downhill, downwind but I've got to go over this set of trees. So I am going to hit an eight iron. I don't think it's getting there, but I'm too scared to take a seven and it have come out too low and not get over the top of them. So yes, oh, I've struck that so bloody well. I hope that's the line. I've seen it down. It's definitely down there. That was so pure. That's the purest strike I've had all day. It was D delightful now i do think that i've hit this quite a bit left of target yeah i have because i didn't have the line i ended up just going through the gap in the tree the lowest gap and we're 
off the green left hand side with quite a bit of a meaty chip now after the last time putting from the fringe from 90 foot i'm actually going to putt again there's a little bit more fringe it's a little bit longer this time but this is a 60 foot putt slow down now stop 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 well, so last time it didn't break at all to the left when I thought it was a severe downhill. This time it's turned a mile to the left when there's no break at all, which my mind has been boggled. No. Pulled the living life out of it and actually given myself an awkward one here. There we go. And that is a bogey which isn't too bad. It takes us to four over on the round. We've got two shots to play with if we want to beat our old PB or tie it. I think tying it is quite likely, but I'm also thinking in my head, I could actually get round and flip in, beat that. I could, I could. Watch me. A short par four here, SI 14. It's 305 yards long. Oh, it's left. My left! hit the tree hopefully it's not a long hole hopefully it's hit the tree and come back towards us it hit pretty hard so i got my fingers crossed these are the trees the ball hit and this is where the ball ended up nicely out in the fairway with a good approach we've got 110 to the flag it's at the back i'm going to hit my gap wedge here my gap wedge oh my god i've caught it off the toe i think and that is not in a good spot. Talk about getting lucky and not taking advantage. It's over in the trees over there now. In, in hindsight, I think I just left the face a billion degrees open at impact. You don't very often see a full blown slice with a wedge, that's for sure. We're about 50 yards away from the pin here. Um, we're off a severe upslope. Ball's gonna come out really high. Can't see the bottom of the pin. Got a tree to the right. Oh my God, that's so left. Well, it's on the green and that's all we can hope for. Well, it's turning. Well, that is as stress-free a bogey as we could have hoped in this situation, I won't lie. There we go, love that. All right, on to the next. Now we're on to the easiest hole on the course. It's 171 yard par three, but on the winter tees, it's quite a bit shorter. Here is the deal. We are downhill, downwind, pins at the front. It's about, well, it's playing about 80 yards. So I've got to hit a full 54, which I'm a little bit worried about, but I'm gonna full send it anyway. That's right, really right, bounce left. Unsure, we'll have a look when we get down there. Took me a little while to find this one because it is sat very much down in the grass. Um, definitely not the right club to take there. This is probably what they're dealing with at the US Open, this level of rough. It's that thick and I'm sitting down so deep in it. Oh, that is so good. Oh my God. Oh, I thought for a second there it was gonna bounce on and go in. <laughs> Here we go, 10 foot down the hill for our par. Oh my God, I've hit it way too hard. Oh yes, we keep the three putt off the card. Come on, baby. Now I know how to get a war going on in the comment section. We are currently three putt free, except the one hole, I think it was the 12th, where I putted through, I think it was about six, seven foot of fringe before going onto the green. And then I missed the next putt. So I three putted, technically I did three putts, but do you count that first putt as a putt? Because although I used the putter, I wasn't on the green. So I don't know. What do you think? I could have chipped it and then two putt and then it wouldn't have been a free putt. Let me know. Next up, we have a 358 yard par four and it's SI6. Right, straight into face this wind is and we've got two holes of this, I think. Stay out of that, trees on the right. No, it's in. Idea. The front nine was a dream. The back nine has been far from it. All right, we've got about 100 in here, but we don't really have a shot. I'm punching back out onto the fairway. 
Oh, I've got so lucky there. That came out very, very right of where I wanted it to, but it's gone through. Realistically, if we want to shoot a PB, we actually need to get this up and down. There are two par fives, I believe, still to play. So there's chances of birdies. Oh my God. <laughs> that, I got a case of the lefts, then the rights, then the lefts, then the rights. Oh, it was, oh my God, it was in the jaws. As they say, it was in her mouth and the kids walked in. This one's a brute, it's a par five, 524 yards long. It's SI3 and it's all uphill. We are currently seven over. Our new mission, break 80. We need to par or better the last three holes. I've got three wood in hand for this long par five because I'm just a little bit worried about going right. Oh, I've gone right anyway. Kick it out. Not gonna lie, I didn't see it down. I'm gonna take a provisional. That's perfect. Absolutely smoke that. Why didn't I do that the first time? Classic golfer's line, innit? Yeah, so I found it. It literally had just gone on the line of the tree and was behind it. Um, so we are absolutely fine. Uh, now it's just a case of hitting as far up as possible because we are a long way from home, uphill. We're not getting there in two. And now the heavens have opened and I think I haven't got a jacket with me. So I'm about to get very, very wet for the rest of this video. That is not what I had envisaged. Hopefully it goes like 120 yards, like a pitching wood, wedge wood, because then I'll actually have a reasonable approach in. It's playing like 192 to the back. The pin is at the back. Um, so I'm gonna hit six iron here. It'll come up a bit short, hopefully. I just knew that I was gonna to top it because you know what? I'm a psycho and I was thinking I'm going to top it. I'm a full-blown psycho, guys. I said it before. Why do I just not walk away? Just literally get that out of your head. Walk away. Reset. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm going to chip a pitching wedge here because um, that then I don't have to do a full swing on this like below the feet lie. That's pretty good. Contact's very good. Uh, I just never rolled on. It just literally went boop and stopped. Oh, hello, straightened up a bit there. Oh my God. Talk about not rolling it straight into the back of the cup and round and round and round for a bogey. Second to last hole here is a par four. It's SI9, has huge bunker in front of the green and it's 332 yards long. Oh no. All right, I've seen it down. We are alive, it came out much more right than I wanted it to. Okay guys, as you can see, things are looking pretty bleak here. Um, we're in amongst the trees. Just gotta get through this gap and back into play. Yeah, we're through, good stuff, happy days. I'm not holding anything back here. I'm gonna hit this 50 full. Oh my God, you donut. Get over. It's all falling apart, guys. It's all falling apart. Intimidating time. This shot is nasty. That, that bunker is at least 10 foot high and I'm right up against the front edge. If I get this out, it's a miracle. Oh, we're out. Look at that. Take that all day long. Out is a result there. All right, here we go, guys. We got 27 foot for a bogey. We really want to make this because well, well, if we get this in, we'll be nine over. Our best ever on camera was at Mill Green about six weeks ago, and that was nine over. So if we want to beat that, we need this to drop. Oh, there's a chance. Ah, it's fallen. No, stop now. No, stop. There we go. No fuss, right. That is unfortunately a double bogey, and it does take us to 10 over. We can birdie the last, or eagle it is a par five, well, that would make that the craziest ending we've ever had. And to finish it off, we have a par five. It is SI11 and it's 482 yards long. And once again, it's a dog leg to the right. I've not taken any off the corner. Hopefully I don't run out of fairway. I can see it bouncing. It's, it's scampering, guys. It's scampering. 
this shot is absolutely massive. We've got a chance to hit the green in two. We're 220 yards away from the pin. Downwind though, slightly downhill. Gonna aim out to the right, because a big bunker on the left. After the last hole, I don't fancy going in another one. Well, I haven't made the best of contact, but that has literally gone flat and run. I'm expecting it to appear on the other side, but maybe there's a bit of rough down there, so you can't get away with that. I've been playing safe up until now, but I am going pin seeking, guys, because I want to get this birdie so that we can finish level with our best ever. Could be good. Sit now. How is that run on? 24 foot. We make it. It'll be magical. That is so bad. Still rolling. Oh, how have I left that short? Oh, there we go, guys. A complete collapse, I've got to say, a bit of a calamity at the end. But we can take away positives. Number one, I'm back out and playing golf. And number two, we shot our lowest ever through nine holes on camera. We shot one over. Hopefully, you did enjoy today's video. If you did, smash a thumbs up. And if you want to see any of my other videos, well, then just click right here.